go on a holiday soon. So we're still going to go to Morocco, even with me starting treatment. But it just means that the insurance is going to be really expensive. Obviously, with me starting chemo, the my insurance is going to be ridiculous. Um, but my parents still want to take me. And my nan said, I will help because you deserve a holiday. You deserve a break. Enjoy something to look forward to and enjoy. And Dr. Sheriff said, we'll never not want you to go on a holiday. We want you to have all the holidays and all the memories. So I think I'll have two rounds of chemo and then they'll stop until I come back. Um, what I do if I didn't have them? I'm obviously looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to the flight. Oh my god. If you remember the last time we went, I was such a baby on the flight. Like a really bad panic attack. Both times. It's just when I think about it, it's ridiculous because I feel fine thinking about it. And I did last time. I was fine. I wasn't even anxious. As soon as it started to go, I went sick both times. Um, and then we go to Barmouth in August. Um, Matthew's coming. Um, Lennon's coming. <laughs> I am okay. I am. I appreciate everything. I appreciate having great family and friends, as I've said. I'm grateful to have you guys. I'm grateful that I'm getting to go away on holiday. I'm grateful for chemotherapy. I'm grateful for medication. I'm grateful for the the healthcare that we have here, I'm super grateful for that. Without the NHS, what the heck do people do? It's ridiculous. So many people are abusing our NHS at the minute, and I'm so worried in the future that it's it's going to go, and we will have to start saving up everything that we have to have any sort of healthcare. You know, if you want dialysis. You pay for it from your own pocket. You want to have the coil put in. You have to pay for it out of your own pocket. Your children, inhalers, wheelchairs, anything. You will pay for it out of your own pocket. Do you know how much a kidney transplant is? Do you know how much it is? for every chemotherapy treatment, for every blood test that people do, for every consultation with a doctor. £200 to have a consultation with a doctor. Can you afford that every time you need something? I am so grateful for the NHS when you think about me that my brothers had a joke about that, you know, they've never had a hospital stay. But I can make I can pick up the hospital states for all of my family put together and that's not being dramatic that's for real because I have and when I think about it I think how oh, what has happened to me first off it being having a c-section and having Matthew within 24 hours not knowing that anything was wrong he was premature he was in the hospital for eight days if they cared for him, would I be able to afford that if we didn't have the NHS? I've had sepsis three times and neutropenic sepsis. Could I have afforded the care after each of those? I had C. diff twice. I was in hospital for that too. My kidney transplant, I was in for seven days. Could I afford that out of my pocket? Could you? I was being seen three times a week, which is amazing. Who gets that type of care anywhere else? Unless you have money, you don't. I get hospital transport, even when I lived in Dudley. 
They came to pick me up and drop me off to Coventry and then picked me up and took me back on in afterwards. Could I afford that? Being an hour away from that hospital, not driving, not being allowed to use public transport because I'm on immune suppressant medication. Do you know how much that is? My medication came to over £800 a month. Can we afford that? I'm so grateful. So unbelievably grateful to have the NHS. <laughs> Having great professors, surgeons, consultants, transplant nurses, transplant doctors, GPs. Having DEXA scans. Having CT scans, MRIs. Can't even tell you how many I've had. Same with x-rays, same with heart scans. He's just everything, all that adds up. I hate the thought of knowing how much I've cost the NHS to be here, to be a mum, to be a wife, to be a daughter, to be a sister. <laughs> you think of other countries and the people that they lose because they don't have such a health care. Imagine knowing that you've got something wrong, like a kidney issue, heart issue, something that over time will kill you and you can't do nothing about it. Yes, that's me now. But I have an amazing oncologist, an amazing team behind me I'm having chemotherapy that's slowed everything down I had no growth for over a year I had radiotherapy the pain went the medication that I'm on my kidney's still going even though things are bad now if I didn't have a transplant and I couldn't have dialysis because I couldn't afford it I would be dead. I would. I'd have been dead in 2015. I would have been five. Not even five. The mem memories that I've made in that time. It's, it's crazy. Like I've had the most beautiful life. Gorgeous memories with Matthew. So, if you're fit and healthy, maybe try raise some funds for the NHS. Do something. Do something that's really amazing, helpful, kind. Raise some money. Do a fun run. Do an event. Where you raise money for the NHS or your local hospital because they deserve it. Do what makes me laugh. You see people on here gifting people like that Chelsea Liar and some others, and you think, What are you doing with your money? Why have you just given her what's it 200 quid or a lion or whatever? You need to tell the homeless girl to open her legs and sell herself for money. I've heard her mock cancer patients call people the most disgusting names because she's not been at the top of the leaderboard what is she doing for this what's she doing for people even her own children and her own family don't want to know her and you are feeding her and yet universal credit does it anyway because taxpayers me TikTok needs to sort it out. It really does. I'm sorry. I go on a bit. I think it's because I'm so passionate about things. And I'm so grateful. And I want to share it. 